Hey, what's up guys? It's Alan from Lonzo Studios coming to you with another quick tutorial. This particular tutorial is going to be our second part in the whole multicam editing process. It's going to be the um, second of three parts. First one was on Premiere Pro. This one is on a software called Pool Eyes. And the third one is going to be on, on the application called Final Cut Pro. Most of you guys should already be familiar with Final Cut Pro. But I'm not sure how many guys are actually familiar with Pool Eyes. Pool Eyes doesn't actually edit multicam. All it does, it's, it syncs up camera angles. Kind of adds an additional step to your whole multicam processing, but it's a well worthwhile step that it adds. Um, um, I'm sure some of you guys will disagree, not to mention it also adds more dollars to your, <laughs> to your bottom line. But for me, it, the process is so much simpler, it's so much smoother, it's so much more efficient than the way Final Cut and, um, and Adobe Premiere Pro does it. So it's worth it. So it's, it's up to you. Just take a look at it. Um, hopefully at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to decide whether or not you think it's worth it. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> for Pure Lies, um, all we have to do is, I'm just going to open up Pure Lies for you guys. Uh, let me back up a little bit here. All we have to do is drag and drop, and I think that's a that's a, a a process that that Final Cut and Premiere Pro they're missing in the whole process in their process, and that feature to me is just it just makes the difference. So basically, from both camera angles, all 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 you have to do is drag it, drop it, all right, then go back to your another camera angle, and drag the uh, corresponding clip, drop it on the second track okay you can also drag an entire folder if you wanted to so say that you didn't want you wanted everything to be synced up you could also just drag the entire folder and just make that one track and then drag the second folder without having to go through and do it the way that i just do it, did it but you could, i just did it like that because i wanted to go faster the more tracks you add the, the longer it takes the process but it's i think it's still faster than if you did this part of the process in final cut or premiere pro all right, so enough babbling. Um, so now that I've dragged my clips, all I need to do now, that big orange button here, it says synchronize, just click on that. Boom, synchronize, it synchronized the clips. And then next, you just go to the export to the timeline, export timeline, uh, name it something that you can remember. I'm just gonna override the YouTube three, cause that's what, I don't need that anymore. And I named it YouTube three and I put it on my, on my desktop. And the other two options here, all it does is just saying, is, is, these don't, doesn't apply to what we're doing right now. It just, it wants you to color the unsynchronized clips and then move them to the end of the timeline. So we don't have any unsynchronized clips, so you won't see any difference if those are, are selected, okay? So now I just click export, uh, export it, export it to the time, to the um, desktop. And then we just jump over to Premiere Pro and how you bring it in is you can either command i for import or you can just double click blank spot in your project uh, your, your project window here and just it's an xml file it's, that's that youtube 3 xml double click it and it brings it in so it brings in not just the the, the sync the sequence it also brings in the source files that you will need all right so now we just double click on that sync sequence it brings it into your timeline like so so now you can see both angles along with their audio. Okay, so we're in Premiere Pro and we we see both angles here. So right now you you won't be able to edit them as a as a multicam sequence because there's a couple more steps that you have to follow. So all I do is I highlight everything, right click, and then I go to Nest. Come on, mouse work. I go to Nest, click on Nest, and you can give it a name. This is going to be a nested sequence. Okay, it, it, it basically compressed both video tracks as one. And if you had more than two video tracks, it would have done the same thing. And you would have seen all of these audio tracks going down the line like this. Okay, so once that's done, all you have to do, I don't think you have to highlight everything at this point. Just right click here and then go to multi camera and click enable. And while you're, you're, you're multi, you can start to edit. <clears throat> the fact that you're not seeing your different angles here is, is because we don't have our multi-camera view 
and um, clicked on here selected so now that we've selected our multi camera view you can see you can actually see them all all the camera angles that you have here in our program window okay so in order to edit all we have to do is just play back and well that's the audio sound pretty bad so let, let's just go ahead and edit the audio while we're at it so all right so we're hearing both audio and if it's if either audio is like a frame or a fraction of a frame off then that's why you hear that echo or you might the audio might be your onboard audio and it picked up the entire room ambience so you're hearing all that hollow sound so i think i had a, a mixing board coming in um as some audio feed from a mixing board coming into one of these cameras so i'm just gonna click on one of the audio and i'm gonna go to my come on mouse i'm gonna go to my audio channels here and then i'm gonna switch to my right channel on there i'm not sure which one it is so i'm gonna do it to both i'm just gonna right click on that audio channel again audio channel and then i'm gonna switch it to the left i think it's the the um the fee wherever it is it's on the left channel um both cameras had um two xlr inputs so i already sound better so now let's mute one of these tracks that sound like the cleaner audio let me try the other one yeah so we found our clean audio it's down here and there we go so now we can start so now we can start our editing process all we have to do is just play it back and then while it's being played all we have to do is click to the other angle or any of the other angles that you may have if you have three four or five angles whichever one you click it's going to be on it's going to be the angle that it switched to see that switches to that one click back switches to that one and you're not seeing it in the timeline because it's, it's it's playing right now as soon as you stop it you will see all the cuts that you've made all right so i want to cut to that one boom that's it and look in the timeline i can zoom in on the timeline there and you can see your cuts see your cuts are there all right and you can edit between your cuts by using your different tools hit your end key that will switch you to your to your rolling edit tool see that and you can if this angle if you cut too soon or cut too late you can adjust that here all right that's it for this tutorial guys if you found this thing useful go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this one thanks again guys for watching take care